It's as if zoo officials hope that Otabenga and the scientific racism that dehumanized him will stay forgotten. Others seem to share the same hope. But some things should never be forgotten because things that are forgotten have a way of coming back. The recent resurgence of white supremacist groups in America has raised chilling echoes of the past. Evolutionary arguments for racism that were rejected by the scientific community are now being resurrected by modern racists. In 2009, white supremacist James Von Brunn drove to the Holocaust Museum in Washington, D.C., where he fatally shot an African-American security guard. Von Brunn had published a manifesto arguing that crossbreeding whites with species lower on the evolutionary scale diminishes the white gene pool while increasing the number of mongrels. Richard Spencer is a leader of the so-called alt-right. He argues that, quote, Darwinism offers a compelling and rational justification for whites to act on behalf of their ancestors and progeny and feel a shared sense of destiny with their extended kin group, unquote. In a 2017 study, more than 400 self-identified members of the alt-right revealed that they view blacks, Mexicans, and other racial and ethnic groups as less evolved and closer to humans' ape-like ancestors than whites. The misuse of science to promote racism is no longer just a sad relic of our history. It's also an uncomfortable part of our present. One reason we should remember the sins of the past is to help us avoid making the same mistakes again. We need to learn from the past, not cover it up. <laughs>